What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about something a little controversial. So <laughs> when Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics launched, I immediately hopped on the site and bought a trio. And we all know, um, the little storm that happened once everybody got their lipsticks. So I got mine and I'll be honest, I did wear one of the lipsticks out the day that I got it. Um, I had no issues wearing it at all. Um, I kept everything together so we could, because I've been wanting to do this video where I try on all the lipsticks, show you guys what it looks like, all that stuff. And then all the controversy around lipstick started, and I kind of held back. But I bought it, and I'm going to go ahead and do them, because why not? So, it comes in this little baggie right here with all the J's, and this is the trio that I bought. So, this is it right here. It is the Nude Moment Lipstick Trio, and it comes with That Girl, Sophia, and Perfectionist. So, you open it up. Packaging is cute. I love the little white, little packaging with the silver. And then here are the lipsticks, all individually packaged. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them up. So this is that girl. And I know some people think the packaging is a little too much, but. If you know Jacqueline Hill, you know that she loves the gaudy stuff. <laughs> this one is Sophia. And I don't mind because why not? It's makeup. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be pretty. I'm not exactly looking, at, looking for it to be super practical. So, and then the last one is Perfectionist. And they all had the little... Um, label on the bottom that says what they were. So, what I'll do is I'll go through each one. I will um, put each one on and just kind of show you what they look like. So, I did open mine up once all the little controversy came out. The hairs, the um, holes, the it, like everything, right? So, I looked and I didn't see anything wrong with mine. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on and wear them. And I will say that first time, the first night that I wore, um, I actually wore Sophia. It was perfect for me. I didn't have any issues. I don't have any problems. Um, my lips felt super moisturized. And mine, none of mine smell like, you know how people were saying that they kind of smell Play-Doh-y? Mine smell like like vanilla kind of like a vanilla cupcake if that makes sounds anything or like vanilla frosting it smells sweet so i'm gonna go ahead and get this little mirror i got a need sticks little tin hopefully i don't flash you guys um and when you get their stuff usually there's a mirror underneath it so i actually wearing or was wearing some i had to stop the eat it kind of came off, but all right. So my lip is dry. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cap off of Sophia. And so this is what mine looked like. So um, I didn't find like any hairs. I don't see. I mean, like none of that stuff. Mine is already, like, worn a little bit because I did use it that first night that I got it. So, this is the color. I'm going to go ahead and um, put it on my lips, watch it for you guys so you guys can see it. If you're still interested or if you're curious. Um, so, let's go ahead. So, this is Sophia on my lips. Um, it is super... It's comfortable wearing, it's not um, drying, it's very moisturizing. And um, I don't have 
Like, I know people were saying when they put it on, they could feel little, like, bumps or, like, scratchy. It was scratchy feeling. Mine doesn't feel that way. Um, and I know some people said that theirs wasn't compromised. Um, so I don't think mine really is, are just because of how I know this one is. So I'm trying to just see. So it does have a little bit of wear, but it looks like normal lipstick wear. Um, but that is the color Sophia. I really liked it the first night that I wore it. I haven't worn it since, mostly because I just want to do this video and show you guys. Um, but that is Sophia. So we're going to go ahead and move on. I'm going to move on to the next one. Let me um, wipe my lips. Alright. So we are good to go. The next one I'm going to show you guys is that make sure I hold it up right. That girl. So just like the other one, um, my previous one, this one looks great. I don't really see anything too, con like, I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't have any hairs or, um, anything like, like crazy. And this one, oh my god, did I just wipe on my nose? <laughs> So this one doesn't smell Play-Doh-y. Um, it, it, I don't, I don't know. I don't have any problems. But so this is it right here. If you guys can see the color. Um, but I'll go ahead and swatch it on my lips for you guys, and we'll see if it like starts kind of getting funny after some usage on it. This one feels super creamy and this is the shade that girl um let's see this one is kind of similar to my other one where it just has like that normal like lipstick wear i'm not seeing anything crazy like i don't see any hairs i don't see um any like bubble little balls or um, black dots or anything like that um, but this is that girl so if you like that shade I know you can't like her website doesn't have anything on it and it's like down now but if you're curious that's the shade that it looks like, or that's the color it looks like and I will say that girl did feel a little bit creamier than Sophia but Lips are dry. All right, so the next one we're going to move on to is Perfectionist. I'm going to open it up. And same thing. I, like, literally don't see um, scratches, whole, um, holes, black dots, um, nothing. Like, it looks like a, like a nice lipstick, so... This is it right here. This is a shade. I'm going to go ahead and swatch her um, on my lips for you guys. Right. So that was Perfectionist. And again, um, looks just like normal wear and tear um, on my lip, like on a lipstick for me wearing, putting it on. Um, so this is Perfectionist, and that are, that's the little trio that I got from Jaclyn Hills Cosmetics. Um, so I guess I was very, I guess I was very fortunate to get good lipsticks. I know there were some people who did get some, um, but majority of them did have issues with the hairs, the um, black holes, um, people found little balls. Um, just all kinds of stuff. So I'm very fortunate. I don't know if I'll use them every day. I'm curious to see what um, what comes back because I know people had said they went and sent them to like labs and stuff. But I I like mine. If it if I didn't hear any of the stuff, if I didn't see the Instagram photos, the videos on YouTube, um, all that. 
I would say this is a huge hit. I really do love them. Um, but the fact that they did come back with so many issues and it's basically like a like a crapshoot to see if you if yours were contaminated if they um or if they ended up like mine where I didn't have those issues I didn't have hair I didn't have where they were breaking I, I don't have any of that and I haven't had any like craziness once I've put them on so that's up to you if you want them but I did want to get on here and show you guys them show you my lipsticks so show you the swatches just because I did buy them even though I know I did get a refund because she sent a refund back to everyone but I initially did buy them for the purpose of doing a review um, but I don't know make up your own mind decide for yourself but that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And also hit the like button. If you enjoy me doing reviews and doing lip swatches for you guys, definitely hit the like button. Let me know in the comments down below. I don't mind doing, doing them. I've thought about doing a couple other lip swatches, so let me know what you like. But that's it, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye, y'all.